What's up, YouTube? It's your boy DJ Kids Frame again with another tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to be about mixing acapellas and instrumentals. Um, I've got a lot of comments and some requests about doing this video. Sorry it took so long, but uh, I'm trying to keep up on the videos and uh, comments and all that stuff on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> mixing, if you've seen the first video, mixing, beat mixing, it's the same thing with the acapellas and instrumentals. Um, first off, you got to find some clean instrumentals. Um, I recommend, or don't recommend it, yeah, I do recommend uh, Eighth Wonder CD Pool. That's why I get some of mine. And uh, my 12 inch vinyl is uh, also a good place to get some. Um, I don't really like downloading them all other sites, but I'd like getting them from their sources like promo only and other things like that. If you're trying to be a legit, you know, DJ or you're trying to get quality. Um, or if you just like I said, quality is a big thing. Um, like I got on here, two songs. Beat um, mixing acapellas with a wholly different instrumental was kind of a different technique because the songs have to match. It's not like beat match. Uh, I'm sorry, beat matching or beat mixing. Um, even though the BPMs are the same, the songs might not go together point blank. Um, you can take one song and mix it with another song and it just doesn't sound right and never will sound right. Um, so that's another thing. Also, you have to know where the breakdown, breakdown of the songs are. You have to know the music in your head. Um, your BPM counter is not going to be right as, uh, be right either. You've got to know your music. You've got to listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, and know your music. Um, as you can see, I've got two songs on deck one and deck two. Uh, Felicia Hardy, Never Calm Down. I'm going to let you listen to part of that. 747, you're my ticket to heaven. I just hope that I'm not losing control. Okay, and then, you know, we got this one. Cardinal and uh, Off Shell from featuring Akon, Dangerous. Okay, this is where you guys where the key lock comes into play. You want to make sure it's locked in, make sure the pitch sounds the same, even though it may be a little different, you still want it to sound the same. Um, also, just to get off track, I'm sorry, for, I had a question about how to delete cue points. This is how you delete cue points. You click on, you go to your wave format, right click, delete, and it goes away. Keep cue point go. You can also name your cue points. Intro. Sorry. Intro. Ta-da! Now it says intro. Just a little, little tidbit if you guys want to know. You can name them first, second, third, verse, or whatever you might want to do. Alright, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Usually what I like to do is set at least eight bars out of the instrumental or wait till it hits the main main chorus depending on what you got like the verses this goes straight into a verse so I'm just gonna go ahead and start off what I like to do is start when the main kick comes in or main track comes in alright we're gonna start off with this one um, here we go I usually like I said I usually like it to get to all the meat potatoes okay? That intro going there. Notice that sometimes it's going to be out of sync, so I use Q, I mean the pitch here, to bend it in. This doesn't matter. This will never match up. Sometimes it will, but majority of the time it won't. Now, don't, now some problems you will run into is that your instrumental is too high, so you got to kind of adjust it. Or your acapella is too high. 
Right now we got a good mix. Now let's add some effects and let's listen to it. off on my sample but we can always queue it up and start over again now at this point you can always add another instrumental that might sound close to it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys instrumental with an acapella. Look out for another tutorial, alright guys? Later.